All right, you guys. Here we are <clears throat> at the white mulberry tree and the pomegranates. Those have to be spread out, but they're still young yet, so they can't take all the full day sun that they would get elsewhere. But this is the plan to be a chicken coop, Lord willing. And these white racks are for the backside of the chicken coop to help climatize it and, you know, just help climatize it, the chicken coop. And I want to put racks of something that I can turn out, you know, every few weeks or something like that. I don't know. I have to look into that. But there's the pomegranates. I had to start this video over because I tried to get the watermelon. I didn't get the watermelon. Tried to get the cantaloupe. I didn't get the cantaloupe. <laughs> but anyway, these are the lima beans side of them. Let me make sure I can. My word. It's such a glare. I can't see anything. Anyway. I get the front of it. So here are peppers. These are habanero peppers. One, two, three habaneros. Toma tomatoes. I was raised in Oklahoma, and when I get tired, I start sounding like an oaky that is really tired. <laughs> so, anyway, that it comes out, I hear it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> with more tomatoes. I'm lacking. And blue topiary beans. And the blue topiary beans, the plan is for them to cross over to each other on this ladder. I was watching in my gardener and he talked about sunflowers and he said to strip the lower leaves. So where only the top leaves are available and that's how you produce the larger heads of sunflowers. And I'm into producing larger heads of sunflowers. Um, they'll be chicken food, if nothing else. Chickens will love, love. Oh, blue topiary beans and the blue topiary beans. They are flowering. I don't know if I can... See, that's what the little flower looks like. All right. Onions. Onions. Onions everywhere, I'm telling you. I really do think that it helps. Um, tomatoes. Blue topiary. Here we have the sage looking beautiful. And look, it's starting to flower again. And I put basil at the base of the sage. And the German thyme. Uh, the bees were all over at the first video that I made. But it's not looking like it now. Those little white things. They said if you put them on your plants, then it will... Uh, be preventative for the white cabbage moth that is a myth i'm telling you that is a bald-faced lie whoever said that was mean and not nice so anyway here are the cantaloupes so the cantaloupes the cantaloupes are going to come down this little trough right here i am going to put uh burlap right here and I'll wet it and everything but this time I'm going to get the cantaloupe see all right 
I was just thinking on the first video that I get down on my knees and not be able to get up like drunk Nancy Pelosi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, this is watermelon. I found a can or a um, cucumber in the watermelon this morning. It's sitting in the refrigerator, ref refrigerator waiting for my salad for later. But there is a watermelon in here. I have to find it. Okay, we're gonna go in. Let's see. Now, do I have it this time? Yeah. That is my baby watermelon. I kind of dug through this pretty good this morning. That's how I found the cucumber. But um, anyway, all right. Happy 4th of July, you guys. Lord bless you. I am praying for you. I am praying for our country. And pray for your own household. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for your community that you're from. Pray for the state that you're from and pray that it be made known that it's from the United States of America. And that is how you multiply your prayers for the kingdom of God because God is a multiplier. And anyway, that's my word of wisdom on the 4th of July in the name of Jesus Lord bless you guys let freedom ring amen